Speaking at a media briefing, Eric Tete Addison, the Director in Charge of Policy Planning, Budget Monitoring and Evaluation at the Ministry of Local Government, emphasized the need for municipal and district assemblies to ensure compliance with the removal of illegal structures in buffer zones. From today, that all those who have cited their properties along the buffers, they are supposed and they are supposed to go and remove them between now and when the ministries, ministry sets in. Ministry is not going to announce when it is coming, but it is giving them warning that they are illegally citing their properties along the buffers, so they should remove them. He also urged MMDAs, especially those under the Garrett project, to prioritize the desilting of choke gutters to prevent flooding during the rainy season. Failure to comply with these directives, according to Addison, will result in serious repercussions for both individuals and assemblies. As the rain is about to come, the assemblies are supposed to begin the silting of the choke gutters. Money has been released to the 17 beneficiary assemblies of the Garrett project, the assemblies that are along the Odor Basin. Our expectation is that by now they should have started the desultant. 